Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about uh, uh, set the pen uh, solar dates uh, versus sidereal days. Sidereal day. Uh, get rid of that. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's in the specification. It's the second statement. It's in bold, so it's only higher. Explain why a sidereal day, a rotation of 360 degrees of the Earth, is different from a solar day due to the orbital movement of the Earth, and that a sidereal day is four minutes less than a solar day. Uh, hopefully, with the aid of some diagrams, this will all make sense. Uh, so, first thing, diagram. We need the sun. There is the sun. And nice and yellow. Uh, and I'm going to do some beautiful stars. Aren't oh, they pretty? Uh, and then we're going to do. I'm going to do the Earth. And there is Earth. And my Earth in it. Uh, what do we know about the Earth? Uh, it's where we live. Uh, it rotates on its axes. I like this. It rotates around. And that rotation gives us day and night. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that arrow. Uh, it also goes around the sun. So not only does it rotate on its axes, uh, but it re revolves or orbits the sun. Uh, what else do we know? We know that this distance between the Earth and some stars is huge. Uh, the closest one's about four light years away. Uh, the distance between the Earth and the sun is also huge. It's called one astronomical unit. Uh, it's about eight light minutes away. So whilst both of them are massive, massive distance, massive distance, this distance here is substantially larger. Eight, li four light years for the closest one, and eight light minutes. Okay, so uh, let's uh, do an arrow. Arrow is representing the direction we are looking. This person is staring into space. Uh, we'll look at someone staring at the sun later. Um, this person is staring into space, it's night time for them, and they are staring at this star. Here it is, there's a star, and they can see it. Uh, and if they keep staring at that star forever, well, if they keep staring upwards, what will happen is the Earth rotates. And so if they're staring upwards, their position changes uh, to a point where, almost 12 hours later, uh, they would be staring straight at the sun. Which would be dangerous, so don't do that. But the Earth keeps rotating. Like this. And once the Earth has gone 360 degrees, 360 degrees, uh, they are back facing the same star. Um, so one revolution, one revolution, uh, 360 degrees brings that same star back to be at the, its peak, right above their heads. Uh, and that is called a sidereal day. And how long is a sidereal day? It's not 24 hours, as you might think. It's actually 23 hours and 56 minutes. No way, you say. Yes, it is true. Um, so that's the side here today. One Earth revolution facing, this, uh, facing the same star. Go around, facing the same star again at our peak. 23 hours, 56 minutes. Uh, but how's that different to a solar day? And why is a solar day different? There's the sun again. Let's put the earth back into play. There is probably a way of doing this so I don't have to keep drawing each time. But this is a new program and I don't know how to do that yet. Okay, so here is our arrow. So now this person is staring at the sun. And the sun is at its highest point, midday, right above us. Uh, and again, for this person, the earth rotates. It's no different for anyone where they are. So the earth is rotating around. Here is night time. Coming back into the daytime. Uh, so when the Earth has gone 360 degrees, this person is back in the same position. But what else has happened in this time? In this time, the Earth has moved. It has moved around the sun. So it's not actually in the same place as it was before. So this is our Earth, but now a new position. So if we transpose that kind of arrow... So this arrow is kind of indicating that this, this person's facing the same way. Now the sun is no longer, we're not staring at the peak of the sun, when the sun isn't at its highest point. Uh, it's not midday for us. Uh, for that to occur, what we need is we need the earth to rotate a little bit more. 
this is not to scale and these arrows are greatly exaggerated. Uh, what we need is we need an extra four minutes of rotation. Uh, great handwriting, you say. Uh, an extra four minutes of rotation. The extra four minutes of rotation brings the sun back to where it was before. Back right at the peak, right at midday, at its highest point. That means we have 24 hours have passed and that is a solar day. So, uh, a solar day versus a sidereal day. So a sidereal day uh, uses the distant stars, stars that are very, very far away. Uh, and the Earth rotates 360 degrees. Uh, and after 360 degrees, that star is still basically in the same position. Uh, one sidereal day, that's 23 hours, 56 minutes. Uh, but if we use the Sun as our focal point, uh, even though it's still very far away, in as we do 360 degrees, as we rotate around in a circle, when we get back to the same position, because we've moved around the sun, the sun uh, is not in the same position in our in our vision, in our sights. So for that to occur, we need to rotate a little bit more. That's another four minutes of rotation, and that four minutes of rotation gives us our 24 hours, which is our solar day. Um, so solar day, 24 hours, when the sun is at its peak, Back to when the sun is at its peak, 360 degrees and a little bit. Uh, sidereal day, when a very distant star is at its peak, or at its peak in the sky, rotates 360 degrees. Because that star is so far away, even if we have moved, it still hasn't changed position relative to us. Uh, so that takes 23 hours and 56 minutes. So that is that thing there. You've just explained why a sidereal day a rotation of 360 degrees is different from a solar day due to the orbital movement of the Earth and that a sidereal day is four minutes less than a solar day. Well done. Uh, you now know that.